Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Shifkumar and in today's video I'm actually going to do the recap. Yesterday I did a live stream and I was having technical difficulties in actually you know making the model. So I'm going to redo it again. And what we're going to build is this simple um, pencil. I mean it's, it looks simple but there's a lot of um, materials that makes this pencil. There's the lead, there's the wooden shell, then there's the ferrule and then there's the eraser at the back. So let's try to model this. So what I have over here is a SolidWorks um, already modeled pencil and we're going to do this step by step in this particular live stream. So what I'm going to do is just click File New. I'm just going to create a part and just to basically make sure that I have all the dimensions, I'm going to go into the top plane and in the top plane, I'm going to go to Sketch and let's create the hexagonal and this will be the shell and we'll do smart dimensions and the distance between this and this should be approximately 7 mm that's the casing and we'll make this vertical Oop. no 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 not fixed Delete this, yeah, and we just want this to be vertical. Um, we'll also want to make sure that there is the where the lead goes in, so we'll put a circle right in the middle, and the dimensions of the circle where the lead will go through will be approximately 2.5. That's about it. And we go to feature, we go to extrude boss base. And this whole length will be approximately 185. And here we have it. A nice pencil, or rather the shell, and then here we have the space for the lead. So we'll again go to the top lane. And we're going to do a sketch again. And I'm just going to rename this actually. So I'm just going to name this the wooden shell and I'm going to take the circle, select the plane, we'll select this plane and it'll be over here and this one we're going to feature this and I'm going to click exclude boss space but instead of putting it as a blind I am going to make sure that this We'll go up to surface and we'll put this as a surface. And here we go. Perfect. Now, one thing that you'll notice is they're, they're basically combined. And that's because we merged results. Let's not merge result because they are technically two different things. And here we have it. So this is a lead. So what I'm going to do is just go to appearances and we just make this. Um, what would a lead look like? Yeah, I guess something of this sort. I would actually just copy this whole thing and then put an appearance and this would be the lead. And yeah, that's basically it. And this will be the lead. Let's name this lead. Perfect. Now, let's try to create and sharpen the pencil. So I'm going to go to the front plane and let's do this in this part of the pencil. And I'm just going to go to sketch and I'm going to basically create a simple line. And I'm just going to basically cut like this. This can be horizontal, this, something of this sort. And let's do a small dimension between this and this should be approximately. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it can be 0 0.5, maybe 0 0.2, yeah. And here we put this as 5 mm. And distance between here and here might be, I don't know, maybe 4 mm. Let's put this out here. We're just trying to basically um, you know it's fully defined 
and we're just going to take this and we're going to go to feature and here we're going to basically go and do a revolved cut and the axis of rotation will be this one so actually in the sketch itself I should basically create a sketch create a center line and let's do this as a center line and in here I'm just going to go to feature and let's do a uh, revolved cut and yeah that's basically it and here we go so it's not perfect so what I will do is just go and click the I won't edit this part I would actually edit the sketch and what we want I think I can put this as seven. Yeah. And so, okay, so it's still creating this strange edges on the side of you. So if I edit this and then see what's wrong. Um, I'll have to just make this a little bigger, I'll put this as 5, and then this should basically be able to cut the whole thing properly. Yeah, there we go. And this, technically speaking, should be the lead. It still looks a little um what do you say probably i could put this as 10 mm and that should make it look more like a proper yeah that's looking a lot better and yeah this is a wood so i'm just going to basically make this as organic this is plastic there's going to be organic and then in your you should have wood and let's put this this way or maybe even something lighter no nope yeah and what we have over here is already looking like a nice little pencil. And what I'm going to name this as Sharpen. Perfect. We're just going to save this. I'm going to put this as Pencil Live 2, actually. And I'm knowing that I made, I was figuring out, you know, what went wrong. And then let's put this as part one. That's fine. And then here I'm just going to go again and now we'll do the ferrule. So let's go to the front plane and let's do the ferrule over here. That's where the eraser, actually you know what, let's do the eraser first. So this is this part and then this would be this part. Okay, so we'll do it in here. I'm just going to take the sketch, put the circle right in the center and this would be this and the eraser would be approximately 10 mm so i'm just going to go click sketch click on feature click on extruded boss base and here we're going to say it's going to be blind and this is going to be 10 mm and is it in the right direction let's see if it's in the right direction Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And mm -hmm. technically is in the right direction, but what I need to do is go in here and select the right plane. That is sketch plane, and it shouldn't be in this side, it should be on this side. Yeah. That's looking good. And here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this whole thing. We click on appearances. We should have rubber, I think. And yeah, it should be a matte rubber. We can go to appearances over here where there's matte rubber. And I can just put this as a white. And we 
we can go back. Okay, so basically this is what we've created so far. The lead, the wooden encasing, and then the rays at the back. It's looking good so far. Okay, now we create the ferrule. Now, yes, having said that, this is still quite like Yeah, so I'm just going to click this as the eraser. And yeah, the sharpen could still, yeah, there's still something not quite right, right? Yeah, so I'll just put this as 15. It just looks a little too blunt, in my opinion. And, and also the lead. Is it going right away, all the way through? Right, like, is it going all the way through? And if it's not, like, I can't really see the lead. Like, is this the lead? Is that it? And this should be approximately mm, 2.5 mm. And is it 2.5 mm? This does say under defined 2.5 mm. Now it says fully defined. So yeah, setting this all up by making sure it's all fully defined does still looks pretty blunt, doesn't it? Because in my mind, if I go here and just click Smart Dimensions, nope. So yeah, so 2.5 is way bigger than that. That's correct. So the wooden encasing. So even if I basically put this This shouldn't be the wooden shell, is it? The wooden shell The lead yeah, we just want to discard the whole thing. Yeah, so what I'll do is remove the sharpen and then, then let's see what we have over here. This looks right. And so does this look right. And then if I take the eraser then if we put this, okay, now it's looking right. Aha, uh -huh. so it's the eraser that's causing the issue. Where is the eraser? So if we don't have the eraser, it's looking good. So somehow the eraser, which is here, How is the eraser causing an issue? I could do it again. I could basically select this plane, click on sketch, and then click the circle. Put this on here. Go to features, click on exclude boss base. And we'll put this as 10 mm. This is looking right. We can go to appearances. Oh, nope. 
and we can go to features i can go to extra bar base and that should kind of do it but so an eraser is suddenly causing this issue makes no sense so this would be the eraser let's put this as eraser one Maybe just like just go to like SolidWorks render tools and just click on final render just to get a sense of you know what's happening over here. Yeah, it's still showing. Yeah, there's something off in here. Like, why is an eraser? Like if I suppress this, then it works. But if I don't suppress this, oh, I know why. Yeah, so when you go to edit features, the reason being is because it's merge results and we don't want this to merge results. Okay, and yeah, now we have it. So I'm just gonna delete this as well. Um, I can do this. And we can just click delete this, click yes. Yeah, so because they're three different parties, uh, bodies, um, it's a multi-body thing. So I'm just going to do this. Yeah, so all we have to do is then you just look at solid bodies. It says eraser, sharpen. We just have to make sure like they're all multi-bodies. And we need to remove the merge results then everything is all right okay perfect and now what we'll do is we'll go to front plane and now we'll click and create the ferrule so the ferrule is going to be the most challenging part of this whole thing so i'm just going to click on sketch uh before i even do on sketch i'm just going to make this uh on the front plane keep this 50 and let's have a look at you know this is basically um if i zoom in you can see it's like halfway in through this so let's put this in the front plane and I'm just going to create a triangle with the simplest triangle. Let's do smart dimensions. This is going to be 10. Let's you know speed this up. Uh, I'm going to create a center line. And this is going to be for construction. And we're going to create another center line. Another one for construction. Okay. And what I'm going to do is Take another smart dimension and this should be approximately uh, 0 0.5 nope 0 0.5 and distance between year and year smart dimensions distance between this edge and the center line must be 4.1 perfect and the distance between year and your should be five because now it'll be exactly in the center that's all looking good so what i'm going to do is click on this and we're just going to click for construction and then i'm going to create a circle right on the center over here and let's do some smart dimensions this circle is going to have a radius of approximately 0 0.2 let's click shift so we'll get this one and then we'll do this one this edge and this dimension uh, the length the length from the ferrule edge is going to be 0 0.5 and we need four of these so i'm just going to click on this and we'll click linear sketch patterns and we'll have four direction is going to be on this guy and we'll have this to be approximately 0 0.2 uh, 
we'll reverse the direction and this is looking good and all we now you can see so all we need to do is make sure that in smart dimensions this one and this one is 0 0.2 now you can see they're all fully defined because they're black we'll now take the trim tool and I'm just going to chop these guys off and now it'll say own over defined no solution we'll just click manual repair you just click diagnose actually and we just click accept the solution and it's looking good for the most part it's looking good let's put this all fully defined smart dimensions should be 0 0.2 and and the radius over here should also be 0 0.2 This is going to be 0 0.2. This is also going to be 0 0.2. And this radius should be Okay, so I made a mistake. Um, so what's going to happen? Is if the radius is 0 0.2, that means this should be 0 0.4. So yeah, I've just made a small little boo boo. So I'm just going to base it. So it's going to do this as I'm just going to click diagnose It's going to be 0 0.1. We'll accept it. That's fine. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be 0 0.1 now. Smart dimensions. Click on this. 0 0.1. Now it'll turn black. 0 0.1. This is in between this guy and this guy should be 0 0.2. And here we have this black. Same thing over here. It's looking much better. Yeah, that's 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 all good. So this is looking good. It's all dimensioned. So now what I can do is click on these, and then we can click mirror entities, and mirror about the center line over here. And you can see this over here, and then we click here, and all of them should be fully defined. And now we can take the line, and let's basically click on this, and click on this, click on this and click on this click on this and click on this okay this all looks perfectly defined i'm, I'm going to click center line click on this and we'll click on this guy i'm going to delete this And I'm going to select everything on the left. And I'm going to click Mirror Entities. Nope, see. I'm going to click everything on the left. And I'm going to click Mirror Entities. Wait, what's wrong? Okay, click everything on the left and it's not going to be for options we're going to click mirror entities why is it why is this i'm clearly selecting something that's shouldn't be selected i believe and when i click yeah okay i got it so yeah, because it's selecting out across this guy, so I'm just gonna click on this and then click mirror entities, mirror about this guy, and everything should be fully defined. It's now looking good. And what we're gonna do right now 
is now take the sketch go to feature and we just click revolve bar space the axis of rotation is going to be this center over here and we don't want to merge the results 360 degrees and here we go and now when we do this we have the nice little ferrule so now it's looking beautiful so now what we'll do is take this i can take click on the eraser and we can apply Yeah, we can click on the eraser and we'll apply the rubber, matte rubber. We'll click on this. Go to appearances, the matte rubber has to be fully white. White, white, and white. Looking good. And as you can see, so this is white and this the ferrule will be, you know, almost silvery. So I'm just going to click on the thing over here and then this is the Feral. Nope. No, this is the sharpen. Not the sharpen. Feral. I believe it's feral. F e r r u l e. Um. And then we go to appearances, and we'll do metal, because it is metallic. Aluminium. That's looking good. Perfect. Okay. And here we have the pen. And then what we'll do is now select these edges. Actually, I can just select the wooden shell, um, just the shell, and just everything around it. We we'll put it blue, so there should be a, a plastic look. Um, and I'm just gonna put the blue over here. It shouldn't be high gloss, to be honest. It should just be like soft touch. This is looking. Oh, maybe is there lighter blue textured? Um. Satan, yeah, I think if I go to wooden shell appearances and maybe something like this, yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, I think it's looking very much like our pen. Then, what I'm going to do is click on this edges one, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to fill it this guy. Let's put this as 1 mm. I'm going to fill it this guy. Fill it this guy. Because you don't want this to be perfect. Want the edges to be slightly smooth. Yeah, I think they all look good now. Yeah, it's looking beautiful. And last but not the least, let's do the... Let's create a text. So I'm just going to go to right plane. Put this over here. Actually, let's put this in the front plane. All right, plane. Okay. And I'm just going to select, say, this face. So, what we can do is just click the sketch. And in here, there's a text entity. So we can click on text. Um, and in here, I'm just going to put like pencil to be something like this. Um, actually, what it says over here is something. It's got the Stedler Norica. So I'm just going to do 13246 HP, something like that. So 1324. Three, two, four, six, HP. Something like that. Okay, and then we put this. So this is going to be the text. I'm just going to rename this as text. And here is the text. I'm just going to. Yeah, and this should be edit sketch plane. I'm just gonna put this in here. Yeah, and how do I? I click on edit sketch. We would want this 
to be very interesting. Can I rotate it? This is not the dimensions that we want. So I would rather have this as yeah so let me just try to create a construction line somewhere around here create this this should be for construction let's name this horizontal actually oh this should be vertical okay cannot be both delete yes um, delete all uh, click on this and this should be apparently vertical nope I'm just gonna click over here click on line and then that's fine and then I'm just gonna do a smart dimension between this guy and here and let's put this as 0 0.1 and this this has to be for construction and I would want to have this one small dimensions with this one and this one oh this could be a maybe 50 that's fine yeah uh, that's fine and then This one and yeah, we would want this to be zero, and there's also going to be another one. I'm also going to create another construction line somewhere around from here to here. And the relationship between this guy and this guy should be approximately perpendicular. And then this guy should be for construction. And what I will do is basically take this guy, this here, and your smart dimensions must be zero. Okay. And the only thing now remaining is this guy and this guy, I believe should be this guy, this guy, small dimensions, but we Not too sure if I can use document font. Oh yeah, the curve should be on this then. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now we're looking at it. Then we'll put the font. I just want to make sure that this is going to be 8. We'll use this points. I'm going to use 8. Regular. Yeah, that looks about right. And since this is closer to the edge, it's around... I think it's fair it's fairly distant so it looks fairly distant I'm gonna click on this go to features and here we're gonna basically click an extrude cut and I'm just gonna put this as 0 0.3 something of this sort and yeah we don't want to merge results again so again in your nope 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 so this is the text. Okay. So 
so I'm just gonna make sure that we have everything perfect okay so if I click on this I would also want this to be silver I'm just gonna click on metal <laughs> aluminium and yeah that's looking good and here we have the pencil and now let's let render it I'm gonna click render tool and final render looking okay uh, I'm not too sure if it's completely render the whole thing um, but I think it could be better so let's try to get the text like maybe if I go to the edit sketch Let's put this as bold, maybe. Yeah, we we'll put this as bold. Um, yeah, so this should look. In my opinion, yeah. So now we got it perfect. Okay, and now let's click on render final render so that's basically similar to what we have over here it's a blue color pencil as you can see with all the lighting it does make it look very this is a real image and it looks very light like the light reflection is all over the place so we'll see how this looks on the final image yeah it's looking beautiful as realistic as it possibly could be And yeah, and here we have it. Uh, is it still rendering? So here's the so if I put this over here, this is like the output that it's rendering, the final render, and this is how it's going to be. And this is the the photo view, but this is the actual render. Yeah, and it's looking beautiful. And yeah, and I could basically uh, save this. So I click save image, and we put this as put this on the pencil live to render image and this was basically kind of like the thumbnail for the video so yeah that's really how you get it working so that's all there is for it this video <clears throat> I think one of the things when it comes to like learning any any software they, as like Malcolm Gladwell tells you that it, you need to put in like 10,000 hours to get these things working that's one thing that I basically is my goal for this year is like if I'm doing 3D printing, you know, whether I whether I want to do 3D printing, which is over here, or if I'm doing CNC machining, anything related to drones, is you got to like fabricate this thing, and in order to take these ideas and bring them to the real life, you have to like know some CAD software, and SolidWorks seems to be the best tool so far. It's an easy thing to learn. I won't say it's easy to learn, but it's comparatively easy to learn compared to like I don't know maybe like Catia or whatever be it. And you can do simulations and all the cool stuff with it. So having said that, I generally feel that if I can just like look at the objects around me and just start to model and just to get a sense of just getting comfortable with the tool. You don't, I don't have to necessarily design a drone to be good at it, right? I could just start modeling just things around me because these are the kind of things that you would technically need 
when you're designing a drone like you know you might I need to model a screw I need to model a chassis I need to model uh, you know small little like sockets to you know to hold the propellers and the motors and the printed circuit boards so these small little things come and come very handy and just being good at just modeling anything that I see uh, is basically the exercise for maybe for the next two or three months so the next thing that I will probably be working on is uh, the humble sharpener if we can do the pencil then why not make the make you know work on the make work on the sharpener itself so basically this is the sharpener that I have over here this is the cover but at least let me try to make the centerpiece over here and yeah and that's basically the sharpener over here and then you know you can basically sharpen so these kind of objects you know this is objects that that are basically you know everyone has them in your home and i could just use solidworks to basically model all the things that are just around me and that's the whole idea of what i'm planning to do um and i think it, it's same thing if you're learning altium and if you're learning you know high speed design circuitry if you're learning aerodynamics or if you're learning artificial intelligence this is the process of just you know constantly practicing until you you know basically repetition until i get those 10000 hours that's really it and that's pretty much it that's all i have for you right now and until next time uh take care